everyone and welcome back to the Charge EV channel, your go-to source for everything electric and EV charging. Today, we're going to be talking about surge protection, what it is, why it's important, how it keeps your EV charging setup, and not only that, your home safe. So what is surge protection? Let's start with the basics. A voltage surge is a sudden increase in electrical potential that can happen in your home's power lines. It might come from lightning strikes, power grid switching, or even from large electrical equipment turning on and off nearby. These surges are sometimes very brief, but they can cause significant damage. Surge protection is the system we put in place using devices called surge protectors to guard against these sudden spikes in voltage. Surge protectors detect any excess voltage and divert it safely to the ground, preventing it from flowing through and damaging connected devices like your EV charger, electronics, or appliances. So why is surge protection important? In protection investment, EVs and EV chargers are not cheap. Voltage spikes can fry sensitive components inside the charger or even affect your car's onboard charging system. Surge protection stops that costly damage before it happens. It prevents downtime. If your EV charger gets damaged by a surge, you're stuck waiting for repairs or replacements. Definitely not convenient when you need your car for daily commutes. They also safeguard other home electronics. Surge protectors aren't just for EV chargers. They also protect your TVs, your computers, smart appliances and any other expensive electronics which may have plugged in and on top of that it increases safety high voltage surges can sometimes create fire hazards by diverting or limiting the voltage spike surge protection devices reduce the risk of electrical fires so how does surge protection work primary surge arresters these are installed at your main electrical panel or utility meter they take care of big external surges like those caused by lightning strikes or grid switching and then you've got point of use surge protectors these might look like power strips or specialized wall outlets they protect individual devices like your ev charger or home electronics by blocking or shorting to ground any excess voltage that slips past the primary arrestor most EV charger installations include or at least recommend some level of surge protection in your home's electrical system. For full confidence, be sure to ask your electrician or your installer about Type 2 or Type 3 surge protection devices, SPDs, specifically designed for EV charging stations. Choosing the right surge protector. How do you know you're choosing the right surge protector? Check the dual rating. This indicates how much energy the surge protector can handle. A high rating means more robust protection. UL listings and standards. Look for UL1449 or similar certifications. This ensures they're tested and meet specific safety requirements. Whole home versus point of use. Ideally combine both. A whole home device handles large external surges whilst point of use devices protect specific equipment. Hire a qualified electrician to install any whole home surge protecting device. Proper grounding is critical. Regularly inspect your surge protectors. Some come with indicator lights to show if they're still functioning. Replace them if damaged. Surge protectors can wear out over time after multiple surges. So if your shows any signs of damage or has lost functionality, definitely switch it out. Also consider insurance. Some home insurance policies offer coverage or discounts if you have a whole home surge protector. It's definitely worth checking out and saving those pennies. And that's the lowdown on surge protection, a small investment that can save you a fortune and a lot of stress down the road. Protecting your EV charger and your home from voltage spikes will keep you on the road and connected to the future of sustainable transportation. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you found this useful or you enjoyed it, please be sure to drop a like and please be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with everything EV. If you want to hear about other subjects in the EV space, be sure to drop them in the comments below and we will definitely touch on those. But yeah, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.